Hey everybody, World War Guy here today, and today I'm going to do a how-to video, and this video is to how to weather your bread bag. Now, of course, this one is a World War II Belgian bread bag, but this video will work for any bread bag. Uh, French, German, Japanese, uh, American gas mask bags, any canvas bag really you want to soil, this is going to be a good video for it. Now, of course, there's going to be different levels of weathering your items. Of course, if you want to look like someone who has been on the field for months on end, then there's going to be different ways to do that. This video is going to specifically be for basically recruits, those who have trained for a few months, uh, but they haven't been living in the in the mud for, for a few months. Um, so these are those who regularly get their equipment dirty, but of course clean at the end of the day as soldiers normally would whenever they get the chance. So this is actually quite simple. You find a place where there's mud, preferably with a puddle like this as it'll be easier to get on the bread bag. And really all you want to do is just dump it in. And you really want to get it muddy. Of course, it's going to be a little bit of work because you got to make sure you get everything. But try to only do it on the outside as the inside wouldn't normally get as muddy or dirty as, as the outside. Seconds, as you can see, this bread bag is now a completely different color. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about anything in the corners, anything where the mud didn't immediately get onto. Because you have to imagine, you either had your canteen there, you had maybe a mess kit if you're thinking of other bread bags. You had things that maybe got in the way, so not every inch of your bread bag is going to get muddy. As you can see, I got a little bit on the inside, but again, this is not an issue. You can get the back if you want. I would just do a quick, simple pass just to get a bit of dirt on, and there's not that huge of a contrast on there. So you can see I got carried away a little bit, but this is not a big issue. But now what you want to do is you're just going to let this dry. Yes, we're not going to wash it off right away. We're going to let it dry until it becomes all dirt. And then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so once you let your bread bag dry or you let the mud dry, this is when you want to take a brush. And this is a small, I think, uh, brass brush. Uh, you can have something like this or you can have a nylon brush, but anything like this will work. And you're just going to brush off the dirt. The reason why I like to use this brush compared to other softer brushes is because this will bury the dirt into the bag, helping it retain the dark soil color we want. Now, of course, if you are going to use some sort of wire brush, do not press too hard into the fabric as you don't want to risk fraying or damaging the bag prematurely. Make sure to just gently brush the dirt off and leave it at that. Once you have brushed off all the dirt, it's time to wash the bag. Now when you're washing your bag, make sure you don't brush anything off. You just want to soak it and have the dirt slash mud run off the bag. And after that, you just want to make sure to let the bread bag dry. I preferably like to do it in the sun because at the same time, you're going to get a nice fade on the actual fabric. And it's just going to look more used. All right, when your bag is finally dried in the sun, this is when you can see the change. As you can see on this bread bag, there is a difference. A little hard to see on camera, but the dirt is well in the bag and it's part of the bag now. It changed the color slightly. And then in the sun, it gave it a good fade used look. As you can see, the old canvas color was a lot more vibrant. So this is exactly what we want. As you can see, the back was also done. And as we can see on the mannequin with the uniform, this bread bag looks a lot better now. Compared to when I first had it, it looked brand new and just didn't look right with everything else that looks well used. It definitely helps your impression, giving you that used but not too used look. And I highly recommend this method for anyone who wants to improve their bread bag or any other canvas items. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helped any, anyone out there who is looking to improve their bread bag slash canvas items. Here's a little preview of what to expect for a future impression video. Stay tuned. But if this video helped you, drop a like, write a comment, share, and subscribe. But besides that, you guys have a great day.